don't know how to. Oh no! No one yet. <laughs> everyone today is day two of Disney World and um, we're going to Epcot for food and wine very very excited very very hungry and almost late the original plan was I was gonna be Mulan Disney bound as Mulan and my mom's gonna be Mushu but we ended up not making the ears so I guess today I'm Mushu I made these myself and I'm just gonna wear a basic shirt so my ears, I just braided my hair back, cleaned them down, curled my hair, just a basic t-shirt. I have the jacket um, wrapped around my waist because it's hot outside. Pants, I'm just going to put some shoes on, basic. Um, I got mushy on my butt. Oh, it's sticking out weirdly. What is going on there? Oh, it's because of my phone. But yeah. So we're going to head out to Epcot. Hey guys, so welcome to Epcot. You can see the little mall up there. Um, right now they're celebrating Food and Wine Festival, so we're about to go all around the world. Mexico, Germany, and just try amazing, amazing food and drinks from all around the world. They actually added new places like Ireland, which is my favorite, so come along with us and hi. Come along with us and experience this amazing food because I am hungry. So we just got back from Australia. We got this lamb chop. I think it cost seven dollars. It looks like there has potato chips on it, and then it has like some green stuff. I don't even know what it is. I'm just gonna get a little bit of everything. It's kind of tough. Should I just pick it up? Yeah. So I'm gonna just pick it up. That's really good. <laughs> it has some potato chips on it. It's really good. I really don't know what the green stuff is. But it's good. So we made it to one of my favorite places ever. Um, we didn't get forks. Ah, there's ants. So I guess I'll start with the drink. I got the Guinness Shake chocolate on top. Cause uh, my very first time I came to Epcot, the first stop I went to was Ireland. They had this little teeny tiny pumpkin spice shot, and it was like the best thing I've ever had. Okay. Ooh, it smells strong. Oh my god. This is so good. Uh, come here. Oh my god. It's good. It's like chocolate. Well, obviously. Then we have the sausage. I never. I'm never gonna remember the names. But I already showed you the menu. It's there. It's a sausage thing. We have the two sausages, some chives, and potatoes. So I'm gonna get a little bit of sausage. Or I can't break it. Okay. Oh. Mmm. 
<laughs> Potatoes. Come here. My reaction was that was the, the best thing I've had. It got good portions, unlike the uh, lamb chop in. I don't remember where we went. That lamb chop was really small for the price. This was about the same price and you got a lot more. Where have you guys at? There's ants. This is so good. We got one last thing. is the chocolate pudding. What is the sauce? Mm. I like butterscotch. Mm. Mm. Ireland, this is why I love you. It's perfect. Mm. They didn't make Ireland officially here, 100%. Ireland, don't leave. So here in New Zealand, we got the frozen wine cocktail. So it has Kim Crawford. And I don't know what else. But it's really good. They eat it too. Um, so it's like the only one. I don't really like white wine. Or I'm picky about my wine, so it's really good. Hey guys, so we just visited Canada. I'm still drinking New Zealand's drink. This is New Zealand. I don't remember. It's so good, but I'm trying so I tried chugging it so I could try the next one because it looks so good. It smells so good. Uh, but I got brain freeze, so <laughs> kinda I literally have two drinks right now. Oh, I didn't get a straw. I don't think I need one. So this is the blueberry banjo. Frosty, I believe, or slushy. It's probably slushy. Yeah, it looks amazing. It smells so good. Um, it has vodka in it. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. There you have it. And she doesn't like any alcoholic drinks. Mmm, it's good. Oh, oh, taste the vodka now. It kind of tastes like, it reminds me of medicine though. Medicine type syrup. But it's still good. It's gonna take me a little longer. This is 11 and it's a pretty good size. This was $7. So, if you like blueberry, I, I would go to Canada. There's different little pubs. We went to first and didn't really have much drinks that I wanted to drink. It was really busy, but if you go next to the um, steakhouse little sign, they have a small little where they have the maple popcorn and there's literally was no wait. So, recommend. So, update. The more that I'm drinking this, the more I actually don't like it, the more it's tasting like medicine to me. My mom seems to like it, so I'm literally just giving it to her. It's not like bad, like it's sweet. Oh no. I liked the wine one better. This one's just, I don't know, I don't like it. I think just to me, it just tastes a little too much medicine-y. But my mom found a drink she finally likes, so yay. Visualize it. Sorry. Well, look at my friend here. <laughs> that, that's a good hint, like, kind of look like him. Uh, a little bit smarter though. A little bit, but not that much. <laughs> he used to be my friend. <laughs> well, if you follow the rainbow, like the Irish one, you follow the rainbow, you'll get him sitting on a pot of gold, right? But Maritime's never count quite different. We were like all fishermen back then, living off the sea, so not that much gold laying around. If you were lucky, you could maybe find at the end of the rainbow a drunken leprechaun with a pot of smoked fish, but that was all. So major difference there from the Irish and the Maritimes one. So here's a song about that guy. He's called Like Oh Who Did Take? Oh. <laughs> 
اعتدال به دانه کاغر و توری شم و دیگا می سو بخار از خوش بردا داشت همه سو تو بر سوزی که دیزه تیزه دیدن یعنی دیری تن Faster, please. I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. Our drummer is not getting any younger. <laughs> and well, he's been banging on the drums his whole life, so he doesn't hear too much. So if you want him to go faster, you'd have to be much, much, much louder. So we're going to try it once again. Do you think any Guzzi can go faster than that? Hi there, it's Alex from uh, Badakdan from Quebec and uh, well if you want to know more about us you can find us online bodh.ca it will get you straight to the Facebook page and from there you can see everything. course a drink another slush it's melting because we had to find a seat um you probably will see it in the little menu because I don't remember the name so let me try it mmm it's kind of like a citrus um like a passion fruit type deal wanna try and then next we have our very first my arm is hurting 
our very first creme brulee. We've never had it before. So let's crack this thing open and see what happens. Oh. Oh, ho. oh ho. grab a drink. Grab a drink. <laughs> no. This is a bee. <laughs> let's try over there. Again, let's try this again. Take two. So it looks like it's not a regular creme brulee. It has some raspberry ooh, in it. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try to get us to the bottom. <laughs> this is not okay. Mm, that's really good. Um, raspberry. Wait. Kind of sour. It has a weird aftertaste. I, I, what, I'm still tasting medicine. Orange? Raspberry. This is sour. No. It's like guac. Mm. I'm pretty good. For our first scrum today. Yeah, you can. I you with the back. Hello. So we finally made it to Japan. You can see behind me. Oh, that's a pretty picture. Anyway, so we got the uh, teriyaki. Is it teriyaki? I don't know. It's chicken bun. So it looks like the little things that you get at uh, Pandora. <laughs> it's teriyaki chicken. So let's try this. Please don't be hot. Ooh, the bun is sweet. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. All right. But yeah, it's really sweet chicken. This convenient little bun too. Like it. Love it. this little restaurant that they have up as soon as you follow the little hill. So I got some ramen. And uh, my mom got a kid's meal. Got this um, passion. Oh, what is it? It's on the receipt? Oh yeah, okay. So I got a strawberry cocktail. It has other things in it, don't know what. And my mom got a chocolate chip cookie with her happy meal. <laughs> so let's eat. Good afternoon, guys. So, we are back at Epcot. We left, no, we didn't leave. We were supposed to leave early yesterday, but we are back today, and we are gonna go to the other section, Mexico, other places that we didn't get to go yesterday. And yeah, at the end, we're gonna go see the fireworks so you guys can see it. So the journey begins. Um, we woke up. Pretty late. I wanted to change everything so that we could sleep in because we are very tired. But we're here. There's not that many people in the park today, thank God. And this is the official last day of Food and Wine Festival. So, let's get started.
We're here in Mexico and uh, we, today we got the... Ay caramba, I thought it was going to be mariachi loco. We got the ay caramba margarita. The short ribs. Little tostada, that looks good. I think it has black beans, but it's mushed. And the rice. Rice pudding. So it's like, um, it's called arroz con leche. My goodness, I'm forgetting everything right now. So should we try the short rib first? I'm just gonna pick it up. Oh, is that chili? I like avocado. Mmm. That's the stuff that I don't like. Let me put on my noodle. Cilantro. Cilantro. The green stuff is like chili, like avocado, cilantro. All the things I don't like. But it's really good. Mmm. Okay, the ay caramba. It's good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the lining. It's like one of those like Lucas. It's not Lucas, I say. The lining. I just want to be a bit. <clears throat> the bird's looking right at us. Okay, now the rice pudding. Hello. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, so this is like mango puree. I think I see a little bit of coconut in it. Mm. Yeah. Basically like cold arroz con leche. With a little bit of coconut sh um, bits in it. And then... that pineapple or mango a mango mango a little a little bit of mango on top that's good mm. yeah so Mexico good job different from what it looks on the picture but let's try it it's pasta with ham and cheese oh ham and cheese it's okay it's not that it's warm it's a lot cooler than i thought it was going to be something good for breakfast i suppose for four dollars? How much? Not bad. So we did Mexico and now we're doing my other half. We went to Spain. We got the I got the uh Chicken bite. Oh, it's my shit. Okay, I got a receipt. Okay, didn't tell me. It's a paella. It's a chicken with chorizo as uh, arroz rice. Right here. Smell. There you go. That's basic rice. It's really good. Oh. Not really filling. It was a what? Five bucks? Five twenty-five? Oh, get a little kick of, of spice, but that's just a chorizo. It just feels like there should be something with it. Overall, great.
So we just made it to Norway. It's Norway. Are we in Norway? For sure. I think we just made it to Norway. And we stopped at this little bakery and got a horn. What's it called? It says horn. Um, I forgot what it's called. It says something horn. And then we got a cream. Whoa. We got a cream puff. A berry cream puff. I'm gonna try the horn first. Oh, cool. Now. Next. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to. Oh no! No one can. Disaster. Come on, there you go. We got it. We're good. The what's it called? What's the margarita that I got? Mexico is trying to kill me. Okay. I gotta say, I think the horn is uh, a lot better. Yeah, so ever in Norway, ever in that little bakery, I think the horn, it's like, I don't remember what it's called, something horn. This is a good way to go. This is my favorite right now. Gathered here tonight around the fire as people of all lands have gathered for thousands and thousands of years before us to share the light and to share a story. An amazing story, as old as time itself, but still being written. And though each of us has our own individual stories to tell, a true adventure emerges when we bring them all together as one. We hope you enjoy our story tonight. Reflections of Earth.